Star Pro Bowl game, pitting the outstanding stars of the American Football Conference against the top stars of the National Football Conference. Hello, football fans. This is Harry Wismer, ready to bring you another Paps Blue Ribbon, first in sports. The first annual All-Star Pro Bowl game played at the Los Angeles Coliseum. But right now, before you see the exciting play-by-play -play of this great game, how about opening a nice, cool bottle of, well, what'll you have? Captain Al Wister of the American Conference won the toss, elected to receive, defending the West goal. Woodley Lewis will kick off for the National Conference of the National Football League. Lewis kicks off. It's a fine end-over-end -end kick. High in this beautiful afternoon in sunny California. Taken by Gary in the 5. He's back to the 10. Up to the 15. Moves to the 20. Up to the 26-yard line. And now Graham on third down goes back to pass. He comes out of the end zone. He spots Bob Shaw of Ohio State. And Shaw of the Browns catches the ball. It's fourth down. And Jim Hardy goes back to kick. Hardy lifts it high, far downfield. A beautiful sight. And this afternoon as Grimes grabs it on the 25, comes back to the 30. He's up to the 35, moves to the 40. Grimes of Green Bay takes it out to the 46-yard line. A splendid return. Bob Waterfield looks downfield, looks to his left. Spots Dan Edwards to his right. Edwards makes a sensational catch of the ball. And it's the first down for the National Conference team in the territory now of the American Conference. Waterfield drops back to pass. He throws one into the end zone. Incomplete. Incompleted forward pass now. Watch Waterfield, a very fine football player. Throws the screen pass to Horner, the fullback. Horner takes the ball down into the territory of the American Conference to the 32-yard line. Waterfield fakes to the right, looks to the right. Throws to the left. Tom Fears is down there. He grabs it for the touchdown, and the score is six to nothing. Waterfield will try the extra point. Waterfield's kick. It's good. It is a glass of that smoother tasting Paps Blue Ribbon. The score is 7-0. The National Conference of the National Football League leads the American Conference of the National Football League as once more Woodley Lewis kicks off. The ball goes deep into the end zone for the automatic touchback. And the American Conference takes over first and 10 on their own 20. Back to pass goes Otto Graham. Graham hits Pete Pijos of the Philadelphia Eagles. And Pete takes it up to the 34-yard line for a first down. Graham throws a screen pass. And this time again, Pijos grabs the ball after two plays at a lap. And Pijos is trying for another first down. But he's knocked out of bounds, steps out of bounds on the 32-yard line. So the American Conference will be forced to punt, trailing 7 to nothing. Hardy goes back to kick. Hardy hits the ball just before it was blocked, and it goes out of bounds down around the 35-yard line of the National Conference team. So the National Conference ball, as the ball is given to Billy Grimes from the quarterback Bob Waterfield, and Grimes, a fleet-footed youngster from Green Bay, swings outside his own left tackle for a two-yard gain. Waterfield back to punt. Waterfield lifts it far downfield. Bullet Bill Dudley is looking for the ball, grabs it on the 23-yard line. The Redskin is hit in his tracks. And it's first down 10 for the American Conference Club. Otto Graham of Cleveland, the Browns of Mickey McBride, goes back to pass. Otto is thrown for another loss. All the way back to his own 11-yard line as the big National Conference defense is really tough. And back in punt formation again goes Jim Hardy. Hardy lifts it far downfield, and this is a beautiful kick. It's still rolling, rolling down to the 40, all the way down to the 35, rolling dead on the 34, and he was five yards deep in his own end zone when he got that kick away. And now Bob Waterfield goes back to pass. They're chasing Bob. Bob will have to hurry. He doesn't get it away. He's thrown all the way back to his own 20-yard line. Back in punt formation now goes handsome Bob Waterfield. He gets the kick away. It's another fine high kick taken by Bill Dudley on his own 34. He's down to the 40. Dudley crosses the 45. He's at the 50. Down to the 45. Dudley's all the way down to the 41-yard line of the National Conference, and that's the first time the American Conference has been in their territory. All right, Graham goes back to pass. He hits Pijos of Philadelphia, and the Eagle Star takes it down to the 30-yard line. Otto Graham gives the ball quickly in there to the left halfback, Choo Choo Roberts, who picks up two yards, and now Graham goes back. He wants to tie up the ball game. He's training 7-0. He throws. The ball is in the air. It's incomplete out of the end zone. Meant for Roberts, number 33, the left halfback. And now back to pass again goes Graham. He's thrown for a long loss all the way out to the 37-yard line as the fine defense set up by Joe Steidehar is clicking well here in the first quarter. Graham again goes back to pass. And once more, Graham this time is thrown for five more yards. Back to the 42. Grosser will try a field goal from the 50. Lou hits it. It's a fine high end over end kick. But it is falling short underneath the uprights, and the ball comes over to the National Conference, first and 10 on their own 20. 
Now, Frankie Albert of Stanford and the San Francisco 49ers of Buckshaw and Tony Morabito is thrown for a nine yard loss on the first play. Second down, 19. Kicking the ball out of there is Speck Sanders. Speck, the New York Yankee star with Ted Collins and Red Strader, kicks down there to Bill Dudley. Watch him go. Dudley's going all the way back to midfield, running backwards. Now he cuts upfield. Down to the 45, up to the 40, 35. Dudley's down to the 30, 25, 20, 15. Dudley's all the way down to the 10. Dudley's hit at the 5. He jumps up and hurdles his way into the end zone for the touchdown. And the score is 7 to 6. The greatest run of the ball game, one of the greatest of the year. Bosa ties the ball game up at 7 0. I'm out. And say, you want to know the score when it comes to judging truly fine beer? Well, brother, just pour yourself a glass of Paps Blue Ribbon. There's the kickoff by Lou Groza with the score tied at 7 all. Lou gets under it nicely. It's far downfield. It's taken by Grimes deep in the end zone. Grimes crosses the goal line out to the 5, 10. Grimes to the 15, Grimes to the 20, Lewis to the 25, crosses to the 30, and he's down, down the 36-yard line. Harry Gilmer was in there to make that tackle, the great quarterback of the Redskins. And there's a pitch out to Glenn Davis. Davis comes out wide, but goes no place as he's trapped at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. Frankie Hubbard calling signals. Score tied 7-7. Sec as second down pass is incomplete meant to Grimes. And that was a pass by Frankie Albert, the former Stanford star from Palo Alto. Albert dropping out to pass. He'll have to hurry to get it away. He looks, he spots, he throws. Davis grabs it at the 40, holds on to the ball, takes it out to the 49-yard line for the first down. Glenn Davis, the West Point star. That was a fine play by Glenn. The ball is given to Steve Toth of LSU and the New York Yankees, and Toth takes it to the midfield stripe. And now we go into the second quarter with the score tied at 7 all and Frankie Albert calling signals. Frankie fakes the pitch out to Grimes, gives the ball to Toth, and Toth takes it for a four-yard advance. And now Frankie Albert dropping back to throw. We're in the second period. Scores tied at 7 all. Albert's pass is complete to Fears down to the 36-yard line. Frankie Albert moves his team. Frankie fakes to Davis, throws a long pass down fields of Fears, and Fears catches the ball at the 21-yard line for another completed pass. And that's a blue ribbon pass if I ever saw one. And there's a smash as this ball club is really going. Balance line, T formation, as Albert goes back to throw, Frankie spots his receiver, he throws, it's incomplete in the end zone. It looked like Glenn Davis had a touchdown in his hands. He couldn't quite hold on to the ball. And now Frankie Albert on a slow motion play, coming out on the bootleg, Frankie moves, he cuts, he loses his footing, gets up, loses his footing again, and is tossed for a two-yard loss. Frankie Albert thrown for a two-yard loss, and now they're going to try a field goal. Bob Waterfield will try it. Waterfield splits the upright from 30 yards away from an angle to the left, and the score is 10 to 7. The National Conference leads the American Conference in the second period at the Los Angeles Coliseum. The Los Angeles Publishers Association sponsoring this game have done a remarkable job. There's the kickoff. Woodley Lewis kicks off again. It's taken by Joe Gary. Here comes Big Joe, the Pittsburgh Steelers, and Georgia over the chalk marks. Big Joe's a fine football player, and he brings the ball back 37 yards before he's finally brought down at the 41-yard line of the American Conference. Back to pass is Otto Graham. Otto Graham throws downfield, complete to Max Speedy, and Max Speedy's knocked out of bounds on the 49-yard line of the National Conference. Otto Graham passing. The pass is trapped. It's incomplete. Autogram number five of the American Conference back to throw. He gets the pass away, and it's complete to Bob Shaw. Bob takes it up the 25. The Ohio State and Cleveland Brown star waltzes into the end zone for the touchdown, and the American Conference takes the lead for the first time today, 13 to 10. And there's the kick for the extra point by Luke Rosa, and the American Conference leads 14 to 10 in the second quarter. What a ball game, and I'm sure that Commissioner Bert Bell of the National Football League is mighty happy the way this football game is going this afternoon. And there's the kickoff once more, and it's taken by Grimes in the two. He's back to the 10. Grimes comes to the 15, but it's dropped down the 14-yard line. So it's first down, 10 to go for the National Conference, and back in passing formation goes Van Brocklin. Van Brocklin from the tee passes out to Davis, but it's incomplete at the 27-yard line. Score, 14 to 10. American Conference leads, and there's a pass downfield that is caught by Tom Fears at the 37-yard line. Van Brocklin goes back to throw. It's a first down for the National Conference. Van looks, 
A sponsor's receiver, Glenn Davis, made a beautiful catch of that ball. Bill Dudley made the tackle, but Davis made the pass complete on a sensational catch. Van Brocklin back to throw again. This time to Fears. Fears drops the ball. It's incomplete in the territory of the American Conference. That's Van Brocklin passing, pitching out there to Grimes. Grimes is being chased. He gets by two, three tacklers, but is finally brought down at the midfield stripe. Paul Brown there was standing in front of his bench watching the game very carefully. He's leading for the first time today, 14 to 10. That's Toth over the middle for four yards. Van Brocklin going back to pass. Van spots his receiver. And again, Tom Fears catches sensationally at the 31-yard line. So Van Brocklin moves his ball club. Van Brocklin passes out into the flat, incomplete to Grimes. Van Brocklin moves out again from the tee to throw. He's looking, he's watching, he's whirling, and he's knocked off his feet. Losing on the play, four yards. Van Brocklin again goes back to pass. 14 to 10 the score. Van Brocklin can't get it away. Then he flips a little basketball pass out to Grimes, and Grimes makes five yards on a very alert play. Van Brocklin gives the ball in there quickly to Glenn Davis. Glenn Davis moves for two. Van Brocklin trying for a touchdown, passes to Fears. Fears misses the ball at the 11-yard line. The score is 14 to 10. A 26-yard field goal coming up by Waterfield. From a slight angle to the left, it's through the uprights, and the score is 14 to 13. The American Conference leads the National Conference in the second quarter. Woodley Lewis again kicks off. Joe Steinerhar's team now right back in the ball game. Joe Steinerhar and Paul Brown have done a fine job with these boys. And there's the return by Elmer Angsman of Notre Dame and the Chicago Cardinals. And Angsman brings the ball out to the 31-yard line. Ray Benningson would have been very proud of the player Hardy and Angsman in this game. As back to pass, Graham gives the ball to Roberts. Roberts fumbles the ball. It's recovered by the National Conference Hoffman on the 20-yard line of the American Conference. And now the National Conference has a chance to go back into the lead. Van Brocklin back to pass. He spots Edwards. Edwards grabs the ball on the four-yard line. What a catch. A real blue ribbon catch. All right, it's first down, goal to goal. Van Brocklin looks at Fears and touchdown. And Van Brocklin hits Fears in the end zone. And once more, the National Conference takes the lead, 19 to 14. What a field. Scores with the 20th point as he splits the upright perfectly. It's 20 to 14. The National Conference back in the lead in the second quarter at the Los Angeles Coliseum on a beautiful, sunshiny California afternoon. And now Woodley Lewis kicks off far downfield. And it is taken on the five-yard line, brought out to the 10, up to the 15, and all the way out to the 20-yard line, 22-yard line by Joe Gary. All right, Otto Graham, number five, goes back to throw. Otto passes, and the pass is caught by Choo Choo Roberts, and Choo Choo takes it out to the 37-yard line. That was a quick spot pass off to the sideline from Graham to Roberts. Graham goes back again. He's looking. He may pass. He may not. He looks for a lateral. He laterals to Hardy. Pat Harder, rather, and Harder carries the ball out to the 40-yard line. Pat Harder, the former All-American from Wisconsin. And this is Otto Graham going back again. Otto looks downfield. Auto passes, it's a beauty, and it's caught by Max Feedy at the 40. Max Feedy fumbles, but retains possession at the National Conference 37-yard line. American Conference ball in the National Conference 37. Graham goes back to pass. Graham looks downfield. He flips a high one downfield, but it's out of bounds and incomplete. The score is 20 to 14. The first half is almost over. This has been a thriller. Look at that screen pass to Pat Harder. Harder takes it down the 40, down to the 35. He's down to the 30. Harder's all the way down to the 25. He wants that touchdown, but he's... Knocked off his feet at the 22-yard line and did not get out of bounds. There's one minute exactly left to play in the first half to score 20 to 14. Graham is thrown for a loss of six yards as the big national conference line shoves in. And now Groza will try a field goal from about 37 yards out. Groza's kick is high. It's up there just a little bit off to the right of the goal post. It failed to go through, and so the National Conference takes over, leading 20 to 14. And Van Brocklin throws the screen to Edwards. Edwards has the ball. Edwards runs like a halfback as he crosses the 20. He moves to the 25. Edwards crosses the 30. He rolls over the 35. He's moving over the 40, and he's all the way out to the 47-yard line right in front of Paul Brown before he is tackled. The score is 20 to 14. The National Conference leads. Van Brocklin goes back to pass, and he's thrown for a loss all the way back to his own 39-yard line. Van Brocklin again back to pass. It's the screen again to Edwards, and Edwards hangs onto the ball nicely as he's played a brilliant game out here this afternoon. The football game goes with the National Conference leading 20 to 14. Seconds are ticking rapidly off the scoreboard clock. There's the half in a great football game. This first annual All-Star Pro Bowl game is another Pabst Blue Ribbon first in sports. 
National League leads 20 to 14. Harry Wismer speaking as we go into the third quarter. Lou Groza kicks off for the American Conference. Groza gets away a fine kick downfield. It's taken by Grimes in the end zone. Grimes out to the 5, 10, 15. Grimes rolls to the 20. And the Packer from Green Bay brings the ball out to the 27-yard line. Bob Waterfield goes back to pass. It's a screen pass complete to Edwards. And made a fine catch of the ball. And he's trapped after catching it but gained five yards. Waterfield again goes back to throw. He's being rushed. Throws into the flat. It's complete to Tok Walker. Walker pivots and is dropped down the 29-yard line. Ball is given to Horner, the fullback, and Horner smashes through for six yards before he is dropped at the chalk mark. Waterfield back to pass. Waterfield throws a long one. Watch this play. Dan Edwards catches at the 35. He's at the 25, the 20, the 15. Edwards races into the end zone for the touchdown. And the National Conference leads by a score of 26 to 14. Bob Waterfield will try the extra point. Grimes holding. The kick is up. It's over. It's through the uprights. And the score is 27 to 14. Perhaps Blue Ribbon might be happy to have you with us for this great all-star gridiron classic as the National Conference kicks off once more. Kick hits the goal post. Comes out to the 20-yard line. Automatically, first down, 10 to go for the American Conference. There is a penalty on the play, but the National Conference declines the penalty and it pushes the American Conference deep in their own territory as Hardy goes back to kick. Hardy gets the kick away. It's another fine punt by Jim. He's a great favorite out here on the Pacific Coast. The ball is rolling, 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 and stops in the territory of the National Conference. Back to pass is Johnny Lujak of the Chicago Bears of George Hallis. He passes to Doak Walker of the Detroit Lions. And the Doker, the league's leading scorer this year, is stopped after a short gain. Lujak back to pass is being rushed. Johnny tries to find someone to lateral to, but can't get it away, and is dropped for a two-yard loss. Horner goes back to try a quick kick. It's partially blocked by Weinmeister. Kick rolls dead on the 47-yard line of the National Conference in the possession of the American Conference. And the American Conference now has an opportunity in the territory of Joe Stadahar's team. Otto Graham back to pass. Otto looks. Otto jumps. He jockeys. He throws complete to Max Beattie. Down to the 30. Max Beattie to the 25 to 20. Max Beattie's tackled finally on the 19-yard line. He lets loose of the ball. But the official ruled the play was dead before he cut loose with that football. And so it's first down, 10 to go on the 19-yard line of the National Conference. The ball is given in there quickly to the fullback. It's a loss in the play of three yards as he's stopped by the big National Conference line. Otto Graham going back to pass. Watch Otto's movements. He's a very graceful athlete. He throws into the corner. Pete Pijos, a great All-American, is there. Pijos grabs the ball as he goes out of bounds down the six-yard line. And now it's goal to go, six yards away from a touchdown on third down. And there's a snap pass over to Pijos, but it's partially deflected incomplete. Now it's fourth down, two to go for a first down, six to go for a touchdown in slow motion. Otto Graham at the five, the four, the three, the two. Otto Graham scores, and the American Conference is back in the ball game. The score is 27 to 20. Pat Harder of Wisconsin and the Cardinals makes it 27-21. What a football game. This is a real thriller. And the kickoff once more. This one is short. It's taken by Ray Bray on the 31. Bray comes back to the 35. He stumbles and falls in the 39. And the former Western State Teachers College player and the Bear Star is stopped on the 39-yard line. That's Van Brocken passing. And Van Brocken's pass is intercepted by Benton Eric. He's back to the 30, 25, all the way down to the 19-yard line. And George Munger and the Maxwell Trophy winner really came through. Munger would have been proud of that play. Back to pass now is Graham. Graham looks. Graham throws backing up, but the pass is deflected incomplete. Broken up by Speck Sanders. Back to pass again is Otto Graham. Otto looks. He throws. It's a bullet-like pass complete down to the nine-yard line. A fine catch of the ball. And here's Otto Graham in slow motion. He's down to the eight. Otto Graham's at the seven on the quarterback sneak. He's at the six, the five. He cuts, changes the ball, changes direction, and scores! And the ball game is tied up at 27-27. And now it'll be up to Pat Harder to see whether or not the American Conference goes back into the lead here in the second half. The ball's in the ground, the kick's in the air, it's through the uprights, and the American Conference leads 28 to 27. Pat's Blue Ribbon bringing you the first All-Pro Bowl game from the Los Angeles Coliseum as the American Conference kicks off. 
This time, Doak Walker grabs the kickoff and brings it out. The Doker comes out to the 18-yard line before he is stopped short, and it's first down, 10 to go for the National Conference on their own eight. That's Van Brocklin faking to Walker behind the line. A pitch out to Horner, the fullback. Horner cuts across to the 10, the 15, up to the 19, moves to the 20, and is dropped down the 21-yard line. Now that's Van Brocklin trying to get his offense clicking. Van Brocklin goes back to throw. His pass is complete, and it's to Horner once more. Horner crosses the chalk marks, picks up yardage as the National Conference team of Joe Steidahar begins to roll. Van Brocklin throws down the sidelines to fears incomplete. They'll be forced to punt. Back in punt formation they go. The kick is away as Van Brocklin does the punting this time, and Van gets that boot away downfield. Score 28-27, third quarter. Emlyn Tonell of the New York Giants of Steve Owen and Tim Mara bringing back that kick. And Emlyn played a terrific game this afternoon on defense all the way. He brings this one out for a fine return to the 44-yard line where it's first down. They were penalized 15 yards on that play, so it took them back deep in their own territory as Otto Graham is passing. Otto flips one out here, incomplete, meant for Choo Choo Roberts of Chattanooga. There's Otto Graham on the quarterback sneak again. Otto watches, he looks, and comes up for a nine-yard advance. Say, fans, are you enjoying this game? Are you feeling thirsty? Attendance, 53,676. Congratulations to the Los Angeles Publishers Association, Paul Schistler and Bert Bell and everyone connected with the game. Otto Graham starts the fourth quarter with a pass to Bob Shaw. And he clicks again with the successful completion. Otto Graham goes back to pass. This pass is over the middle to Max Speedy. And Max Speedy, a glue-fingered pass receiver, hangs on to that football. Graham again going back to throw. He's being chased. He may run. He fakes a pass. He's at the 50, down to the 45, the 40. Graham's all the way down to the 37-yard line before he is toppled to the turf. All right, back to pass again goes Graham. Graham passes, but it is trapped incomplete. Fourth down, they're going to try a field goal from the 45. Pat Harder will try the kick. Graham holding. The ball's in the air. It's off to the right. It's no good, and the National Conference has another chance. They're trailing 28 to 27 in the fourth quarter, and that is Van Brocklin, number eight, going back to throw. Van Brocklin's pass is complete to Tom Fears to the 28-yard line. Second down two, Van Brocklin back to throw. Van Brocklin's pass is complete to Fears. Fears fumbles the ball at midfield. It's recovered by Emlyn Pennell. First down for the American Conference on the National Conference, 46. Otto Graham going back to throw. He's thrown, jumps up. He flips the ball out to Harder in the flat. Harder's at the 50, the 45. Harder's down to the 40. The All-American from the Badgerland is at the 35, the 30. He's down to the 25 and all the way down to the 18-yard line before he is finally brought down. What a play. Otto Graham again goes back to pass. He jumps off to the left. He is looking. He's trying to get a pass away in the end zone. He throws. The ball is downfield complete to Max Speedy. He took the short man on the play, Max Speedy, for the completion, a gain of three yards at the 15. And now Graham again goes back to pass, looks into the end zone, throws, and it's caught by Max Speedy at the six-yard line. As they're getting closer and closer, leading 28 to 27. There's Otto Graham going back. He fakes to the fullback. He's being rushed. He may be brought down. He is for a loss back to the 11-yard line. Otto Graham again calls the plays. He goes back to pass. He's looking in the end zone. The pass is in the air. Downfield to Max Speedy. Broken up by Woodley Lewis on a brilliant defensive maneuver. Now Otto Graham again goes back. Otto looks to his right. Fakes to his right. Jumps back to his left. Looks into the end zone downfield. He wants to get this touchdown if he can. The National Conference trying to stop it. He throws in the dead run to P.P. Holst who makes a great catch. But he caught it out of bounds. And it's ruled no touchdown. And the official on the play rules out of bounds. Fields thought he was in there. There is a fake field goal. Harry Gilmer carries the ball to the 15, down to the 10. Harry Gilmer's up to five. The great Redskin takes it down to the four-yard line. And the plays leading up to that play were great in slow motion. And now there's the right. There's Ben Davis carrying the ball. Out to the right. That was Doak Walker, rather, carrying the ball. Bob Waterfield goes back to kick. Waterfield gets the boot away. It's a nice kick downfield. Connell fumbles the ball. Connell picks it up at the 38, back to the 40, up to the 45. Connell at the 50, down to the 45. Connell all the way down to the 41-yard line. A splendid return by the fast-moving giant. There is Mr. Choo Choo Roberts going off right tackle. And Choo Choo goes for 10 before he is dropped. Once again, Choo Choo carries the ball on the same play, off the same tackle, and he picked up three yards on that play. As Otto Graham fakes behind the line, gives it to the fullback. Harder fumbles, there's a pile up for it, and the National Conference recovers the ball. They have another chance. They're trailing 28 to 27. 
Bob Waterfield goes back to pass. The pass is complete to Horner. Horner's dropped as he catches the ball. Now Bob Waterfield watch this shot as Waterfield goes back to pass. He's looking. He throws a long pass downfield. And it's broken up by Harry Gilmer. Gilmer almost intercepted that ball. Ball is given this time to the left half back once more. And he swings off his own right tackle as back in passing formation goes Waterfield. It's a long one. Way downfield. Watch this play. It's deflected by Pierce. Cut by Gilmer on the 32. He comes to the 35, the 40. Gilmer's at the 45. Gilmer cuts at the 48. He's at midfield. He's all the way down to the 46-yard line. And the rip-roaring Redskin comes up with a key play. And the ball is given to the left tap back now. Choo Choo Roberts. And Choo Choo swings for four as he moves outside his own right tackle. Now there's the punt by Joe Gary of Mickelson and Art Rooney Steelers. And downfield it goes. It hits on the 15-yard line. Still rolling down inside the 10. Van Brocken goes back to pass. He passes in the flat. It's intercepted by Dudley. And that's the end of the ball game. The American Conference wins over the National Conference 28-27.